So um, I'm going to start off with giving y'all corners. We're going to corner one. Everyone points corner one. Corner one. Okay, corner one. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but in a minute I'll tell you. Okay. So corner one is going to be spring. So say spring. Spring. Okay. And then corner two over here is going to be fall. Everyone say fall. Fall. Okay. And then corner three over here is going to be winter. Say winter. Winter. And then what do we think this corner is going to be? Summer. Summer. Summer right? What? y'all think should be on a pictograph. Talk about that real quick. Okay, boys and girls. This group, what was our favorite season over here? Summer. Summer. So what do you think should be on a summer pictograph? Yes, sir, right here. Okay, so real quick, we're going to do a class survey. How many of y'all like class surveys? We get to see what everyone thinks, right? This class survey is going to be about our favorite subjects in school. So here in a minute, I'm going to hand each of y'all a little pencil, okay? It has a piece of Velcro on it. Don't pull the Velcro off, okay? So we're all going to get a pencil. And while I'm handing these out, I want you to think of your favorite subject. We have math. We have science reading, we have writing, and then we have social studies. Social studies is like history. How many of you like history? Some of us. Okay, so while I'm passing these out, think as your hands. Alan, thank you. That's what can we tell? That science um, the most. Science was the most, right? Yes, ma'am. What, what else can we notice? Um, has what? Reading does have less. Good job. Okay, so I'm going to have us answer a few questions about this graph real quick. So, let's listen. Which school subject is most popular? We just went over this. What school su subject is most popular? Science. Science, right? Which one was the least popular? Reading. Reading. We just did that one too. Okay, so listen. How many students like reading and science? So, let me pull this over a little bit. Maybe. Okay, so science is the long one. How many science do we have? Nine. Eight. We have nine, right? Nine. And then how many reading? One. Okay, so how many reading and writing do we have? Ten. Not reading and writing. Science and writing. Good job. Ten, right? So what subject was more popular? Was it math or writing? Let's math. take a look. How many writing did we have? Four. We have three writing, right? How many maths did we have? Four. So which one is more popular? Math. Good job. Now let me ask y'all another question. How many students were in the survey? What can we do to find that out? By counting them in all. Counting the total, right? So let's count the total real quick. How many, how many math do we have? Four. Four. And then we have how many science? Nine. nine. What is nine plus four? 13. 13. What is 13 plus 1? 14. 14 plus 3? 17. 17. 17. 14 17. plus 3? 17. 17. 17. And then 17 plus 2? 19. 19. 19. So there were 19 students who, so there's 19 of y'all, okay? How did we know? What does this little thing tell us right here? What is this? What do we call that? One. What's that? So every pencil, it is a key. Good job. Every pencil equals one student. Now what if this said two? What would that tell us? Okay. You're going to write what I write down. So we're going to be talking about graphing pictographs, correct? Okay, so the purpose of a pictograph is to...
symbol. What is a symbol? Someone raise your hand and tell me what you think a symbol is. Nobody? Yes, I want a symbol. Exactly, nice job. A symbol is something that represents something. So like our class survey we just did, the pencil was a symbol for something. What was the pencil a symbol for? Our students, right? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, let's get that down. The purpose is to compare data using pictures or symbols. Once that's done, I need your marker closed and on your desk for me, please. Check out, please. Okay. Thank you. 